All right, so you've been wrestling since you're five. You've had all the success. You've been through, I don't know even how many matches. But, you know, what is, uh, if you have any, like, what, what, give me an anecdote that, uh, that, that maybe somebody doesn't know about, but maybe that you use to, to show the value of, of how you did the things you do or some of the lessons you've learned. Any uh, any stories that you like to share? I mean, I, I mean, I have tons of stories, and, and um, but I, I don't know which one's valuable. You know, I mean, but it, just give me something that I can say. I he told me this, nobody else carried. <laughs> um, well, I, I mean, I tell my wife this one, and and, I'm, and and only people who really know me know know this. When I look back, I'm 42, and, and if you ask me, hey, why you know why are you so good when I was in my 20s? You'd have, you'd have got an answer, and at 25, you'd have got a different answer. Now I'm older. I'm married, I have kids, I'm coaching a team, and you know, my, my, I guess I'm, I'm wiser now. When I look back, I say this was it. I could work out in the morning, I could go to class, I could go to the team practice in the afternoon, I could come home, I could eat, I could study, and it could be 9.30 at night, and I could sit on the couch, and I've already got two workouts in, and I'm watching my favorite TV show, and I could sit there and be okay with it. But I would sit there and say, shit. I'd look at it and say, man, I gotta get this third workout in by at least. I gotta get it started by 50 years. And other people couldn't do that. And I, I did that my entire life. And I don't even know why I did it, Joe. I don't know why I got that way. I mean, I mean, I know why. I knew where I was going, but I don't know why I was able to do it. And so I look at it. I always say, like, when I hear it, this bothers me. Um, of, uh, well, this, this guy's got God-given talent. I've always said that's a, that's a weak person's mind. You know, they're, they're, they're finding reasons why this guy wins and this guy doesn't, and they want to use, you know, bring God into the equation. And I'm like, I don't sit back thinking God picks who's going to be a great wrestler and who's not. You know, who's going to be great at jiu-jitsu and who's not. I mean, I think he gives us all something. Maybe that's what I got. Maybe I got that drive, but I didn't have leverage. You know, I'm 5'4", you know, so I had to wrestle a certain way. So this guy got leverage from, you know, God, I got drive. I don't know. But I, I looked back and I say, that was it. You know, that was it. That's why I was able to succeed. And I never pictured I was going to lose. Like, but you're interviewing me because you think I have all this success. You know, and, and um, you know what the U.S. Open is, right? Yes. All right. That's the, that's the, that's the best. That's the, 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 the biggest tournament in the United States. It's the best league you can open, guys. And I'm being interviewed by you right now because I've got the success. But I went to the U.S. Open 13 times and won it three times. And a lot of people don't know that. You know, I've lost in that corner more than I ever won. You know, and I, I just never stopped. And then I, I always feel like make a world team, always feel like be a world champion, always feel like be a world champion. You know, all that stuff didn't happen, but you could convince me that it wasn't going to happen. But, but when I look at my career, I've got more losses than I have as wins. But 